Pleasant morning, everyone. Welcome to As another we Sunday Spirit at the Daughters of Sheba Foundation. Today is being celebrated as World Cancer Day. Most, if not all of us, have a family member or friend who is afflicted with this disease. In these times, they truly need to know that they are not alone. So I sing, keep smiling. Keep shining, knowing you can always count on me, for sure. Yes, that's what friends are for. <laughs> Never mind my singing, but let's focus on the words, knowing you can always count on me. That's what friends are for. Do you think so? Let's talk about what it means to be a friend. I have read quite a few de definitions given by different sources. Let me give you some. According to the Oxford Dictionary, a friend is a person you know well and like, and who is not usually a member of your family. Another one said, a friend is a person who has a strong liking for and trust in another. A person attached to another by feelings of affection or personal regard. A person who gives assistance. And lastly, a friend is someone you trust and with whom you share a deep level of understanding and communication. Now, which one do you believe hit the nail on the head? It's hard to say as it's quite subjective. What it means to one person might be different from what it means to another. Hence, it is broken down in several categories. A friend, a good friend, and then comes the best friend. Let's pick it apart and see the difference. A friend is someone in your circle or friends that you might see often and sometimes do things together. That's where the interaction stops. Now, let's look at a good friend. A good friend is a step above just a friend. A good friend enjoys each other's company and most times hang out a lot. Now let's look at a close friend. A close friend is the same as a good friend with the addition of sharing confidential stuff and usually asking advice on things. Now, to the best friend. Yes, the BFF, bestie. This one is on top. It's on top of the friendship ladder. They are the first person you turn to with everything and the one you always rely on. You can count on them, as the song says. Now, let's look at some differences between a friend and a best friend. According to Robert Locke, he's an author and a health enthusiast who specializes in, in relationships, life improvement, and mental health. He says that, a friend will always be complimentary, give you, give you praises, but never dare to criticize or give you an honest feedback. However, a best friend will tell you as it is, be there to tell you when you are going down the wrong path. No, I totally agree with that one. It gets a tick in my book. Number two. Friends may call you often, but best friends call you every day. He believes that a friendship is like a garden. You have to water it every day. 
So with a best friend, you have to call each other every day to make the friendship blossom. Well, I don't totally agree with that one as everyone have a life outside of the BFF life. And as much as you may want to talk to each other every single day, life happens. Sometimes you don't have the time to do it. That doesn't mean you won't be there for the person. Well, that's my opinion. What's yours? Number three, best friends will root for you in all situations. But friends will just skim the surface of the empathy tree. Number four, friends may not care about loyalty. For example, when people start to talk about bad things about you, a friend may stay clear and not stand up for you. But a best friend knows and values loyalty and will defend you to the end. What do you think about that one? Sounds good. Number five. Friends may help you out, but best friends are there 24-7. You may hesitate to call a friend at 2 a.m. in the morning, but you can always phone your best friend anytime to rant or for advice or just a sympathetic word. Number six, friends will rarely mention your mistakes, but your best friends will. So yes, we all make mistakes in relationships, work or family matters. Friends rarely go the extra mile, but a best friend will always be able to tell you what went, went, went wrong and help you to not make the same mistake again. Number seven. Have you noticed how friends are suddenly busy when illness, hardships, and depression strike? They fade away like melting snow. However, a best friend is always there through thick and thin, good times and bad times, just like the words of the song. Number eight, the last one I will mention is jealousy. Jealousy can wreck many relationships. There may be sensitivities that are never revealed and may ruin a friendship like weeds in a garden. But best friends are never jealous because their bond has thrived through openness, trust, loyalty, and being supportive. Their garden is always in full bloom. Is your friendship garden in full bloom? My friends are like butterflies. They are beautiful to look at for the short moment they stop on your floor. Some are like the caterpillar that destroys the tender leaves of the plant. They're, they change to a butterfly and fly away. Okay. If I agree with what, my, what the research that I did tells me, then I guess I will never have a best friend. However, no matter what the dictionaries or other people say, want to say about best friend being anyone outside the family, I still would consider my daughter to be my best friend. What do you think? Would you extend best friends to a close family member? Who cares? It really doesn't matter as long as the person has the qualities you value as being a best friend. Thanks for listening. Have a wonderful day.